We're back again with another Warhammer 40,000 Kill Team Battle Report. I'm Russ and welcome to GFN Gaming. If you're enjoying the content, please hit that subscribe button. It really is something you can do for free that helps out the channel a bunch. And if you wanted to throw some extra pocket change our way, you can sign up to the Patreon for as little as two pounds a month, which is about half a cup of coffee these days. Anything you can do is muchly appreciated and all goes back into improving the content. It's the Inquisition against the Chaos Legionaries. Let's look at that Emperor's Children All Slanesh Legionaries team. It's true, I've gone back to my first love, the Chaos Legionaries. We're going non-meta, so they're all Slanesh, but I am taking the Aspiring Champ, Plasma Pistol, and Power Weapon still. It's a, it's, you've got to take it, it's too good. I'm taking the unit that is, was, and always shall be, the Anointed. He's also got Grizzly Trophies to reduce the attacks coming through within three inches. Probably the most feared unit, especially when you're facing a big team with lots of blast targets, is the Balefire Acolyte. This guy is your last deployment. He is the ringer. I'm taking the gunner with plasma. I'm, I'm missing Nurgle with this guy the most. We're going non-meta, so I'm all Slanesh, so no a malignant aura melter combo for me. Secretly super happy about being Slanesh. The Shrive Talon is going to be my workhorse for this game, I think. Super fast, super deadly. We joked about non-meta choices, so we said Butcher with Malefic Blade. Then I stopped and thought that might actually be good. No more hitting on fours, so I'm going to try it out. That's my list, so let's look at what Chris is bringing and let's look at his Inquisitorial agents. As mentioned, it's non-optimal, so instead of any ancillary support, it's 12 agents, starting with the interrogator agent. And he's gone sanctification, so a little subtract one attacks bubble around this guy. Next up, Chris is taking the auto savant agent. He's given him the servo skull for free mission actions, and he's got a host of other little gribbly goodness to give him CP and control objectives. Next up is Mystic Mac. He's got everyone fooled but me with that see-through blindfold because this one's hitting on twos. Also has a mastercrafted auto pistol, so he's up to 3-4 damage. The Quest Keeper with a 5-6 brutal hit on death eviscerator, that's a potential 12 damage coming back if I hit first, avoid. Next up is the Gun Slang and Pistolier Agent, source of plasma in the team, pretty damn good with a 4-up refactor field in Vun save. We've got the Penal Legionnaire Agent with the Hand Flamer and Chainsword, got the Chem Mass so can't be affected by stun or APL stuff. Next up, we've got the big boys. Two gun servitors, one with multi-melter and one with the heavy bolter. Yikes. Need to avoid that multi-melter at all costs. The Enlightener agent, the little pint-sized Shrive Talon, would be great against Nurgle with those perma-injury paired blades, but it's against Slanesh and we're all about that self-peeling goodness. A lovely model reskin from the Inquisitor game is the Death World veteran. Got a pretty nasty 5-7 hitting on two's one-shot knife, which would be lethal against a seven-wound team. Hexorcist Lestrange, turning off abilities faster than I can turn off my wife trying to prove the dog made that smell, not me. Just smell its arsehole and tell me that's not a like for like. What the f is wrong with- Why are you recording this? And lastly, the Tome Skull. Thrilled to have their names so close to a dog's asshole in the timeline of this video is Turning Point Tactics. Oddly, in fact, it was their only request. We are again using their map packs for today's game. You should be doing this also. Head over to their YouTube channel, follow some links, and get your hands on the best kill team maps. In kill team? Glad I thought that one out. We've rolled up loot as well, and here are the objectives. Let's get into the first roll-off to determine who's going to be the attacker in this game. Okay, so initiative roll-off, turn one. Oh, well, you got it. Well, do you want to be attacker or defender? Oh, um, I would like to be defender. Defender? Okay, I, well, which side are you going for? This side. This right. side? Okay, nice. So Chris chooses to be the defender and chooses this deployment zone, and then it's over to the barricade placement and we set them up here. As per the critical ops mission pack, we deploy in groups of three, and this is being done now. And then after this final deployment, we're all set up. It's over to the scouting phase. I choose infiltrate, which I might have telegraphed, and Chris chooses fortify. He then drops one command point for embedded agent, getting to resolve a second scouting phase, and he chooses dash or recon which shuts down my alpha strike. Placing a barricade here slows down my Balefire Acolyte, who thought he had a cheeky backline blast action happening, but no longer. Lured into a trap, the foolish pawns of the false emperor tarry too long in unprotected space. The Inquisitor themselves are not present, but we shall leave them a message, written in the gore and viscera of their retinue. My only regret is not being able to witness myself make beautiful war upon the fools of the Imperium. Perhaps I can recover the heads of a few of this unfortunate crew. Perhaps we can recover their last images. Yes, that's a thought. Yes. 
So we're into the first turning point. Both players are going to get a command point, bringing Chris up to three and me up to four. Let's get into the first strategic phase. Is there anything else you're doing? Um, no. No. I'm also not going to do anything. Not, not even a free one. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I guess I'll do a free one. It's weird because I'm not going any Nurgle. It feels weird. Not. I don't know what. <laughs> I'll do a free... Uh, I don't have a lot of bolt weapons. Uh, I'll go... F um, I'll go Graceful Killer for free. <laughs> yeah. No, just doing that so I can get the uh, extra CP layer going you to give me crown points. That's a smart ploy. <laughs> smart ploy. You've declared it now. I've declared it. it now. It's done. So one more time. Is that the extra... Uh, Crit damage. Yeah. Only in melee, though, so it might not even... Just an off chance that you race forward. Yeah. Not that you're prone to aggressive play. Oh, but what? But if, if it happens... What are you talking about? I'll, I'll be able to compensate. Uh, any tack ops you want to reveal? Um, yeah. Oh. Maybe. No. No. No tack ops. No tack ops, no tack ops for me either. Uh, I guess we're straight into the game then. Straight in. No tack ops being played, Chris is going to move forward with his Tome Skull and Interrogator Agent and bop this point. Over to me. On the other side of the kill zone, I'm going to race forward with the Butcher and bop this point, staying in Conceal. Back over to Chris, the Quest Keeper races forward but isn't quite able to make it to this objective. Back to the Emperor's Children and my Shrive Talon's going to race forward next to this doorway so we can race forward in the next turn and bop this point. Back over to Chris and the Inquisitorial Agents and he's going to move his Auto Savant forwards. <laughs> uh, so he's done investigating. Right. <laughs> yeah, so he's moving through, he's going to loot, and he's going to investigate. I have to investigate two points okay. for one VP. Mm. Stay alive for another VP. Oh, okay, okay. So, uh, and it's a free action. He's got equipment to do a free mission action. So he's done the loot for free and then he's done the what you call it. Correct. Well, I guess either or, right? Yeah. All right, cool. There we go. Okay, looted. Nice. Looted. So the first tack op has been revealed, investigate lead by the auto savant. I'm going to race forward with my anointed and taking a page out of Ben's book, I've gone demon straight away. <laughs> okay. Mystic is going to boost the pistolier and then move towards the door. Embodying the motto, the team that flays together stays together, my plasma gunner will move forward, loot this objective and dash next to his buddies. Onto this objective. The death world veteran is going to move and dash forward. And then my leader will move next to his pals on this objective as well, all huddled up together. Pineapples well and truly flipped. The Enlightener moves into this cover and my final activation, the Balefire Accolade, is going to move forward in conceal. He can't get his Alpha Strike off anymore. The Hexorcist is just going to move forward, bringing his Aura of No Rerolls with him. And with one APL, the Servitor is just going to move here and can do nothing else. The Pistolier is just going to move forward and the final Servitor, the Multi-Melter Servitor, is just going to move back a little bit. Final activation. The Penal Legionary is going to move towards my Butcher and Balefire Acolyte. And that's the last move of the turn, so let's have a quick look at what's happened in turning point one. Here's the movement. I've not taken full advantage of my extra movement with Slanesh because I wanted some cover, but we're getting into the point where it's going to come in useful. Here's the mission again, we're playing loot, and here are the objectives. As per the game, we score the victory points as and when we loot the objectives, but if you weren't keeping track, the Emperor's Children, the Legionaries have looted these three objectives for three victory points, and the Inquisitorial Agents and Chris have looted these two objectives for two victory points, meaning this objective was not looted. There's only one tack op in play at the moment. The Agents have dropped Investigate Lead and have done so on this objective with the Auto Savant. So one more objective needs to be investigated, and then the Auto Savant survives for two victory points. We are into turn two, both players get a command point and it's about to get very spicy. Let's get straight into that roll off. Most important roll off in the game. <laughs> yeah. I'm just trying to create a bit of tension. I get to, oh, it's only a two, but I get a break time. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, oh no! <laughs> <laughs> oh, no! I'm gonna take, uh, I'll take the first turn, obviously. Yeah? Victory is mine. Let's get straight into the strategic phase. And I'm gonna go up to five CP. I might as well blow my absolute load yeah. uh, on stuff going on now, because uh, this is, everything's gonna die here. So I get a free one. I'm gonna spend that um, on fight twice. So you can't stop that, because that's my free one. Okay, Over to it. you. I'm gonna pick Denounce on him. Denounce? And he cannot activate for D3. Ooh, damn. D3 turns on Denounce on my Balefire Acolyte. Yeah. 
not turns, but activations. So I've got to do three activations. All no, it's D3, so two. Okay. You have to move two guys and then on the third, you can move. <sighs> that's nice. That might be enough. He really doesn't want that blast. Okay, that's pretty horrific. Uh, back to you. Um, so I don't need Graceful Killer. You probably do. I'm going to play... <laughs> I'm gonna play. <laughs> I think you need it. I'm gonna play Delicious Agony instead. Uh, so if I fight against you and you've already been injured, you get what you call. This team is either alive or dead. Oh, she's quarrying your on your on your this guy. This guy, okay. Yeah. So what does that mean? Everyone is balanced against him. Oh, that's pretty And if good. he dies, the model is removed from the table. I can pick another quarry. Okay. Good. Uh, Tac ops. I'm gonna drop the route. Eliminate guards. Okay, eliminate guards, and who you selecting? You the balance dude? Yeah, the balance dude. We'll, we'll just okay. pick a demon. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to select eliminate guards also, and I'm going to select this dude here. Oh no, he, no. I can't select him. No, I'm not allowed. I need to. him. You need him alive. Yeah. Um, he, he's still on the investigator. Can I go for? Him? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so go for him. Yeah, fair enough. Yeah, makes sense. Yep. Yeah. Anything else happening? Um. Nothing else to reveal for me. Nice, okay, I think that's it. It's my first activation, time for what I hope will be a soul-crushing move. So my Shrive Talon's going into your target. This is easily going to be Rout and Eliminate Guard, if I can kill him, and that's the thing. So, Shrive Talon, I've get one reroll because of my aggressive stimulants. Sorry, I put that camera right in front of you. <laughs> to make it more difficult. Uh, okay, so I've missed that many, but I do get to reroll one with the charging thing. Okay, so that's going to be two crits so far. Uh, and we'll see what you roll to see if I re-roll that. And what's your damage profile on this right time? Three fives. Ooh, well, you, you get what you took. Graceful killers. Graceful killers. Right, so I'm hitting fours here. Because of combat support. Whoa! What a roll. Okay, so two, two sixes. Yeah. Okay. It's going to make all the difference. So what's your damage? Two on a crit. It's, it's two on a crit. It's two on a crit. Mm. And your wounds characteristic. <laughs> It's a lofty seven. It's a lofty seven, okay. okay so I'm gonna do five damage. Uh, I will do two. Two damage back. Yeah. Um, you don't have anything if I just kill you now, there's nothing. No, oh, he's just dead. He's just dead. I'm gonna parry and then kill you anyway, just, because that's what he would do. If I'm an Emperor's children, I'd take your sword out of the way and then i kill you. Whoa. That's how he goes, exactly. Um, so, and as punishment for doing that, you have to get the model out of that. <laughs> so I kill the auto savant, I loot the objective, and with horrifying dismemberment, I reduce the leader to one APL whilst remaining in combat with the tome skull. The leader then loots this objective, and then the tome skull group activates and just passes in combat. I'm going hyper aggressive. My leader moves and dashes within two inches of the quest keeper and shoots. It's so uh, well, I have to kill him to score the point. <laughs> so I've moved and dashed with my leader. I'm going to shoot. This guy, two inch range so I can shoot him. Uh, if I kill him, that means I could then, what you call it? Chaos Blessing in the eyes of the gods. Ooh, yes. Lovely. Incapacitates, you can add one to the of APL and I'll then mop, mop it? I'll then mop <laughs> it. I'll mop up the points. I'll mop up the points. So I don't think actually I need, you to, need go, to go hot. Don't I don't you think need I need to go, need to go hot. You know, I'm, not, I'm playing it risky, but I'm not playing it <laughs> So I'm hitting on twos, four hitting on twos. <laughs> AP, uh, one AP, uh, I think I don't need to go hot. Uh, okay. He's got a five up in one. Ooh, I think it'd be good job I didn't go hot, but you got, has he got an actual five up in one? He does. Oh. Has he actually got one? He's <laughs> actually got a five up in one, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Ugh. He's a zealot. Um, I'm going to spend a command point because I've got four to re roll this one. Doesn't matter if it goes one again. Oh my god, doesn't count. I shall re roll it. Okay. AP1, unless he's using his 5 up in one. Well, I've got to roll to see what I'm um, saves, right? What do you mean? No, not 5 up in one, 5 up feel like pain. Oh, okay, 5 up feel yeah, like so pain. Hopefully, okay. I'm going to save one of these. Those, it's AP, oh, only two, only two. Oh, I, I didn't, uh, yeah, I didn't know. So I'm looking for fives. Oh, oh one. Bad. Okay, so, so one's down. 15 dice. Uh, no, so that's 5, 6, and it's oh, 16, 16 dice. Alright, we'll do 10. We'll do 10, right, yeah, so 16 It's going to be crippling dice. over 15 and 16. So here's where the math comes in. I need to save 9. These are all going to be 5 up. These need to all be 5 up. I mean, you've got 3, uh, which is already 7, isn't it? No, that's already 6. So he's got one wound left. <laughs> he's dead. <laughs> How many do you roll then? 9. No, no, I rolled 10. I rolled 10. So another 6? It was seven. a valiant effort, but he does die, unfortunately. I rolled seven dice. 
Just in case. Yeah. <laughs> You're <have> extra. <laughs> it still didn't work. So he's <laughs> going to blast him. He's then, with his free action, he's going to bop the point. Kaboom. And he's then going to go into super conceal. What? So I bop the point, but alas, there is no super conceal for me. It's back to Chris and the Inquisitorial agents, and the penal legionnaire is going to charge into the butcher for no reason. The reason is to make Palin go, why? <laughs> <laughs> he will. He will be very confused. <laughs> what do I go for? So technically, I hit on sevens with the vicious blow, so I only need one. So I've got ceaseless. Oh, see, that's the choice you're gonna make now. Oh, do you want to try and one shot me? Well, I'm not ceaseless, and I haven't. If I'm you're not, not the attacker, attacker, no. Yeah. So I don't have ceaseless. I'll be hitting on fours. Yeah. So I'll try and one shot you, or yeah, just kill you in a few. I think I might just try and. I'll be doing four five. I'll be doing three, yeah, three five. It doesn't matter two hits, but if I miss, you know what? I'm gonna go for the, the five attacks hitting on threes. I'm so worried about dying. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think you should do that. I should go for the axe. <laughs> I'm going, for, I'm, going for the, I'm going for the blade. Malefic blade on the butcher. Hitting on threes. See, I'm, I would have, oh, you know, I would have one shot you there, wouldn't I? Um, so he does have nothing else going on for him. So carry on. So it's three five damage, right? Yeah, three five damage. Okay. So I'm now rolling four dice, I'm hitting on fours, and it's going to be a great roll. It's not a great roll. It's not great. Uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do a CP reroll. Didn't get crit. Okay. Where's the CP roll? So what are you hitting on? Fours. So what's your damage? Four, four five. five. Yes, yeah, so they're all four. Okay. And my I'll kill you in two. So you'll get two. So you'll get eight damage on me, and I'll kill you. And I can't do anything about that. I'm not going to save any. I'm not going to do anything about points. I guess. Because you parry, I hit. You parry. Okay. So I'm going to spend a command point to make sure you can't just parry me out. Okay. Uh, so I can definitely kill you now, just in case. I was going to parry you. <laughs> I thought you might. So what's the plan? The plan is, is plan B. <laughs> is that plan B? Yeah. He's now going, ah, and he's just going to hit you for four. Hit me for four damage. Yeah. Okay. Um, so if I parry you, you hit me for eight anyway, or I hit you, you hit me, I kill you. So I'm going to hit you for five. And I will hit you for another four. Okay, and then I will kill you. So you've done eight damage. Eight damage. Whoa! That's not bad. It's not bad. That's that's pretty damn good. Yeah. I was a fool to not take the axe, although non-corn butcher is always a risk, can't guarantee that crit. So the penal legionnaire took entirely more killing than is required, but it's back over to me and I'm gonna activate my Balefire Acolyte to try and do some damage. Balefire Acolyte is gonna try and give my leader a chance at life. So I'm gonna use Fire I choose you! Straight into the multi-melter to try and soften them up a little bit. Uh, four attacks, hitting on three, no cover, not he's in cover. Uh, splash one though, so... Oh! Ooh! Do I even bother at this stage doing a re-roll? I think I just take that as a whiff. Um, you know what? <laughs> I don't really like the... I'm just going to spend one command point and reroll one. Okay. Some splash damage. So I get at least one mortal wound with splash. Okay. And that's it, though. Right, so this guy saves on fours. Oh, that's not a bad save no, as well. Yeah. Ooh. It's, no, it's 11 wounds. Yeah, I was going to say, so he's down to 10. Um, and no AP, is there, so... No, no AP, so you get your full three saves. You need to roll as badly as I just did, please. Come on, baby. Okay, so you get rid of one. Got rid of one. So that's going to be five damage going it through in, to in total. In total. So down to what? Down to six wounds on the multi melter servitor, not yet injured, but I'm going to continue playing aggressively, so I'm going to charge into the Death World veteran. I need to continue in the aggressive vein that I've started. So, he's shot. He's not going to bop, so instead he's going to move and fight. Mm -hmm. So, Balefire Acolyte. Fell dagger, five attacks, hitting on threes, demonic energy on sixes. And that's one that's fallen out. Okay, so no crits going off. That's what we look right. so far. Can't use any rerolls because you're a hexagram. I keep saying the name right. Hex? Uh, Hexasis. Hexasis, so I yeah. can't even reroll that, so no. that's fine. So I'm going to use the pole arm. 
Okay. So it's four attacks and threes, four or five damage. <laughs> and as always, reap two, which is useless. She's going to use the energy. It's fun though. It sounds fun. Ooh. What, you get uh, on threes or fours? I mean, on threes. <laughs> oh, that's not so bad. I feel like if I spend this CP and get another hit, it's going to win the game. <laughs> oh! What happens if you. <laughs> so, what's your damage profile? Uh, four, five. And so, your... those are both fours. And your wounds. I have seven wounds. Seven wounds, so four, five, six, seven. Two hits are going to kill and you the, anyway. And there was another rule I told you about that I'm going to just remain quiet about for a minute. What was that one? Oh, we can ignore damage. I remember this. You did me a very gentleman, <laughs> so I'm going to parry one of yours. Okay. So that means I'll still kill you. Whoa. No, I'm not. I didn't get any crits. I'm 3-3. Three, three. You're 3-3? Three, three. Yeah, I just remembered that now. Because I'm not 3-4. I'm 3-4, but I don't have any crits. Oh. So technically, that's only 9 damage in play. And if you parry me, it'll be 6 damage in play. But you'll do no damage. So I'll stay alive. You can stay alive. Oh, well, no, you can stay alive anyway and do a bit of damage. You can yeah, I'm going, do, I'm, going do, I'm going to do four damage. Four damage, yeah. okay, and then technically that's going to be nine, but you'll ignore one. Yeah. So six damage going through. Yeah. And you've done four damage on me. Yeah. Which brings you down to eight. It's a sad day when I can't kill a guardsman. The mystic is going to boost the heavy bolter servitor and then move forward. Staying out of range of the shrive talent just next to the leader. Back to me and the butcher is going to loot this objective and then move and dash to get in front of this doorway to block it. Looking to push past my troops into my back lines, the Hexorcist is just going to move and dash towards this objective. With no viable targets for my anointed, I'm just going to race him behind this cover to get him into the fray next turn. Time for some gun servitors. So, got the best rules in the game. We're going the heavy bolter. It's P1. P1, okay, heavy bolter. What are you hitting on them? Fours. Okay, so you're only going to get... Okay, you're hitting five shots, okay, okay. Five I don't count my, I won't count my chickens. Okay, so, okay, so far, ceaseless. Yeah, we've got three normals. You get a reroll one with a ceaseless already. <laughs> we've got the P1. So, so, we've P1. Got the P1. so you don't have to waste so like then, all hits. So we can do another crit. All hits, I think. All hits, please, thank you. All hits. So I'll take a cover save. Yep. P1. And Ooh. make a crit save. So how much damage is that going through? Uh, that is. 12 damage. 12? Yeah. Heavy bolter, man. 4 5. Ooh. So I think we've only got one wound remaining because that's he's the boss. Irritating, though. Oh. <laughs> Shooting done. The servant is just going to dash out and it's then over to me. My plasma gun is going to loot the objective. He's then going to race through the door and fire on that servitor. Now, plasma is shooting. I've got one CP burn left. Am I going to overcharge? What, how many wounds has he got? The heavy se the servitor has got eleven wounds, and he saves on a four. Wounds. Saving on a four. You gonna go hot? Um, has he got any kind of save? Just just a normal four. Up. Normal four up. Do you know what the chaos gods say? Chris, they say you got hot. They say you got hot. I've got one reroll. I'm gonna use it to keep him a little bit alive. Oh, gets the one again. Kabam! Goes down to nine wounds. You guys are, uh, these slash guys, they keep turning into their own skin they? and stuff. They're, uh, They're just so excited. Just excited to get out and play. Pleasure from oh, yeah. pain. If I save one, you he's still dead. That's a crit. He's yes, alive. you have to save the crit, because that's 11 damage going through even with a save. It has to be a crit save, and then you're down to one. Oh! Chris! <laughs> oh, oh, man. Oh. Protected upon high. The Emperor protects, wow. my friend. The Emperor protects. I mean, not this criminal scum, surely not. Say a prayer to the Emperor, then you stay alive. That's how it happens. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. So the servitor lives, it's back over to Chris, and he's going to disengage with his Death World veteran. Then it's over to me, and I've got some Overwatch lined up. I consider the one wound vet or the leader, but end up going for the Hexorcist. Bellfire Clay. Okay, so oh. it's four, att it's four attacks with my tainted. Yeah. I'm hitting on fours now, but I do have a balanced reroll. No, you don't. Oh! Exorcist. That's, that's a weapon ability. No, no, it's no rerolls with it. Oh, yeah. yeah. So, okay, so no rerolls, so just needing fours. Okay. So I'm okay. doing his exercise. Exercise. <laughs> uh, okay, so it might have helped him. 
I don't get any rerolls, so I've got two hits. Okay. That would be oh, six, so you, you will live. Uh, save on fives. Yes. Yeah. One save, so... So three, three damage. damage, yeah. Three damage going through. Not injured. Not injured, but, you know. Nice going. Okay, that balance reroll helped him out. So now that you've got kindly reminded me that I have a one. You have a one. Looking to shut down my leader's plasma pistol, Overwatch, the plasma pistolier, is going to move and fire on him first. Do you have a CP? Not so much. Yeah, I've, re-roll. I've got no CP left, so your plasma pistol, pistol guy, pew pew, and into my guy over here with your long lads. I do get a cover save. You overcharge? No, can't, can't overcharge. overcharge. No, not on the scope profile. Does that mean it's AP1 always? AP1. No. Four or five damage. Come on, just four six. Bad roll. Ooh, two hits. Two hits, AP1. So I'll it take so a save. Uh, am I going to reroll? Am I oh. Gonna... oh yeah, so that's my cover save, obviously. I, I, again, this, if I get this, it's going to win me the game. <laughs> I didn't get it. Didn't get I'm it. not going to win the game. Didn't get it. I mean, that's what it is. <laughs> that was the call. I mean, okay, so you know what that means. Because you did that, now this is going to roll the six, right? Yeah. Uh, you know what? I saw it. So it doesn't matter. If it, two saves, he's still going to die. Ah. One wound left. Kabla! Kabla raid the first... Legionary is felled. Oh, I didn't it! I knew it! You know what? You played it so well, I was like, oh, maybe he hasn't. Maybe. So Chris kills my leader, then gets two victory points for doing so in the first two turns with Headhunter. Great move. Overwatching my plasma now into his mystic. So I'm not going to overcharge this time because uh, I think I was foolish last time and I ended up killing myself. So it's just going to be hit on fours now because I overwatch. So... Oh, my <laughs> God. I did not overwatch. Can you imagine? Three, wow. six, nine. I would have been dead. Sorry. That so, is... <laughs> thank God. So we're shooting the Mystic. He's sitting the Mystic. Saving on five. So you know we kill him, but you know, yeah, he's good. Ah, he's there fine. We go. Absolutely fine. Oh. My god, he'd have been dead. Oh. The, gods, the gods are not favouring him. Time for some melee. The Enlightener is going to charge into the Shrive Talon. Okay, so you've charged into the Shrive Talon, but obviously I'm, as the Shrive Talon, going to be Talon, Talion some Shrives. You're the first one. What's your... You can't one-shot me, can you? Uh, no, five. But you five damage. Oh, okay, cool. Um, but I do... Oh, no, you're still not injured. God damn it. So combat Charging support. Injured, yeah. Plus, uh, hit on twos, and you're within two inches of my little skull, so I'm going to get another dice. So that's what I've got so far. That's a crit and two definitely hits. definitely not within two inches of my leader, right? No, I was just out. I should be still. Am I still? I think I'm we're within. You are, but I think we might have knocked it. Uh, okay, yeah, I, I, the intention was he was, he was out. Oh, he's got the crit! So I've got the crit, and I've got balanced. Okay. So at this moment, I can still parry your It is crit. rending. Oh, sh- So whatever happens, I'm getting permit injury here. So that means I'm always injured for the rest of the game. Yeah. That's pretty good. That's yeah. pretty tasty. Okay. So I get to go first. Obviously, not obviously, but I do get to go first. Damage-wise, it's 3-5. Okay, so you'll take me down to 5, but you'll be dead, but I'll be permanently injured. Even though at 5 wounds, I'd be injured anyway. You realise this? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I don't mean to sour that for you. Well, but, he, this uh, guy also has a crack grenade, so you, if you stay alive, then I can't throw a crack grenade later, I guess. My guy doesn't have a crack grenade. No, mine does. Oh, yeah, okay. Uh, so I will. So you're going to do five damage, so I will do five damage to you first. Well, I'll do five damage back to you. Okay, and I'm perma injured. Um, uh, I guess I will kill you. Oh. <laughs> Five dice and I got to retain one. Five dice, you got to retain one, but I am now, if it's any a consolation, perma injured. Just, you just wanted to see it happen. I just wanted to see it happen. Okay, okay. and while I'm here, I'm going to do once again minus your leader's APL. Oh, sh- Yeah. Another of the Inquisitor's agents is cut down and the Servitor fires his multi-melter at the Balefire Acolyte. So it's the time we've all been waiting for. Your multi-melter is now shooting at my Balefire Acolyte. I'm not injured. No. Got a skin of my teeth. Got a skin of his chinny chin chin. It's, it's, oh, it's still a hit on fours. 
Okay. Four on fours, and obviously- You've yeah. got no more re-rolls, right? I have no re-rolls. So a real bad roll would be lovely because right about now. Yeah. I spent a seat of the quarry yeah. on a guy that was never anywhere near it's any true. shooting. It's true. So that was a waste. That was a- that was, nah, Well, yeah. Okay, so eight wounds left, two crits will kill him, right? Yeah. More wounds for, right? I've never seen so many sixes about to get rolled. No sixes. That's still rolled. three hits, though. It is still three hits. It's 82. 82. 82. Yeah. So. so essentially, I make one save with cover, and then what? how much does the damage profile? Is it four? It's, two, it's six. Six, four. six. Uh, yeah. Six, four. So it so. just kills me. It just kill kills me. Yeah. Hair on my chinny chin chin. Yeah. Boom. Yikes, that's a tough one to swallow. My Balefire Acolyte played aggressively and got taken out because of it. The Servitor is then just going to dash forward next to the Pistolier. And with that devastating kill, it marks the end of turn two. So let's have a look at what's happened in the bloodiest turning point two I've seen in a long old time. That mark of Slanesh is really starting to pay off with that extra bit of movement. We've managed to get into lots more fights and a lot of things have died on both sides, sadly though. Just as a reminder, we're playing loot. Here are the objectives and we're scoring these as and when they get looted during the game. But if you need a reminder, let's start with the Emperor's Children. I managed to score these objectives, getting four victory points and the Inquisitorial Agents only managed to loot this objective for only one victory point. And this objective didn't get looted this turn. With this kill, I managed to get two victory points for Route and Eliminate Guards, and I also denied two victory points for Chris for Investigate Lead. I feel like mean Ben. Chris unfortunately didn't kill the Anointed, so no victory points for Eliminate Guards. Let's get into turn three. We are into turn three now. Both players get a command point, and it's into another pivotal role. Who gets initiative turn three? Okay. Turn three! Sorry, I'm, everything's dead and it's only turn three. Turn three, initiative <laughs> roll. You break ties. Oh, not a tie. So I'm gonna take it. Thank you very much. We're into turning point three, the strategic phase. I can't get it for free anymore, so now I'm gonna spend one command point for Hateful Assault to fight twice. Um, I mean, I could stop that. Yeah? For a CP. Go for it. No. No? I don't know. No, go I just, I was just flexing. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, I think I might save it, you know. I think I'm gonna. That's fair. Yeah, That's kind of fair. I'm gonna save it and see what happens. Okay. Um, so eliminate guards. I will select. You know what? I'm gonna select your dude with one wound left. Yeah. Makes sense. Guards target makes sense. Yeah. Okay, over to you. Uh, I'm going to select to Shrive Talon. <laughs> Makes sense. So this is a mistake for it. Eliminate Guards. The operative has to be on a centerline objective or in their own territory. So the only viable target for this for Chris is the Plasma Gunner. Um, I feel like I haven't gone aggressive enough yet. Love it. So I'm going to go more aggressive. Love it. Um, and everyone's going to die now. Love it. Yeah. Okay. Is there any tackle being no, declared that was, just with that? That's no, just a speech. Just psyching you out. That's just, just a speech. speech. Okay. Yeah. Love it. Okay. Yeah. First turn for me, though. Activating the Shrive Talon. I'm going to bop. Because I might as well. Yeah. Steal that. I'm then going to fight your dude. So you you said your guy can't I fight. Can't, no, he can't fight. He's got a lot of tight yeah. So does that mean... I mean, this is a pretty foregone conclusion. But yeah, yeah. So, um... Let's roll that out. Never fought someone that. Uh, so five attacks hit on fours now because I'm permarine, not because I'm actually in it. Uh, I do get a crit which will kill you in ones. And technically, that's two crits. Uh, so he's just dead. Yep, right. Just dead. Okay. Yeah. So, so Boom is dead. Boomer? Not Boomer, but like Boom, he's dead. Oh, you're thinking of the guy skill. Yeah, he's not as good as the guy skill. No. Uh, I'm then going to minus one APL the monk man. That person. Yeah. So I've got them both down to, to what you call it. Just one APL, on. and then I think I'm going to pistol shoot. I think I'm going to do that. So yeah, I'm going to have pistol shoot the guy with the spear. Okay, so we get a crit and a hit. Okay, so it's, it's saveable. saveable. But it doesn't. It's not saveable. It's not saveable, it's not so I kill him. So I've got route, nice. and now I've got eliminate guard, so oh, max them up. He's done the well. double. Done the, the, the double. It's another double score for the Shrive Talon, maxing out now Route and Eliminate Guards, and then the Mystic is gonna go with his one APL. Uh, okay, so your monk? 
Uh, yeah, he's called the Mystic. The Mystic is going to shoot his yeah. pistol into the five moon shroud. Mm, the shroud yeah. That's right. He's got no eyes, so he hits on twos. That makes sense to me. Faith. And they all hit. They all hit. That makes sense. Uh, and it's three, four damage. Three, four damage. No AP, I'm guessing. No AP, be. no. So. So it's that's six. six damage, yeah. I don't have any rerolls. Ooh, because he's, he's just mastercraft, dead. He's mastercrafted all pistol equipment, so that's great. Yes. That means wow. I actually get a point. So my Shrive talent is dead, but he's had a hell of a game. As mentioned, we're not gonna score that for Eliminate Guards because it was not a viable target. My Butcher then activates, loots this objective, and then moves back to hold this objective. We then move on to the One Wound Bolter Servitor. You're, you've used a command point for mm. not being injured. Yeah, the Emperor's will. The Emperor's will, so your Bolter Servitor is gonna fire at my Plasma Gunner with only nine wounds remaining, and he's gonna be hitting on fours. Heavy bullet time. Yep. Uh, Hell's teeth. So no rerolls. Ceases to decay. But it's P1. P1. Damn. I mean, I even drop one. So yeah. that's gonna be dead. I think I just comfortably uh, dead. Fourteen. Yeah. Fourteen. Man alive. This is when this is when Nergal would have been good. Kasplam. Oh. Just kills. <laughs> That's going to reduce my score and capabilities. And for that kill, Chris is going to get one victory point for Eliminate Guards. He's then going to dash forward with his servitor and it's back to me. I've only got one guy left. The Anointed charges into both the Leader and the Mystic. Uh, I'm going to go for your Leader, I guess. Leader. So I don't get... I'm normally ceaseless, but I won't get rerolls now because of your guy. I'm still within six inches, but I'm five attacks, hitting on threes. And like I said... Losing one. Grizzly trophy, so that means you get minus one attacks character. Oh, minus one attacks. Oh yeah, it is that. Sorry, you were right. That was my bad. So one less attack. Right, so you get one less and I get one less. Oh, I get one less as well? Yeah. So four attacks, hitting on threes. Okay, lethal five. Oh, God. Not, and I would have got ceaseless, but I don't get it because I'm within six of your hexatrick. <laughs> so... You're just going to say a different name every time. Yeah. <laughs> Hexo the Hexonomite is just within range, so I don't get any rerolls. Right, uh, well, now I've got hella drugs. You're really smart, then. I'm looking to have two dice, and I'm hitting up fours. Okay. And nothing happens okay. there. Um, so I think I just kill your leader. It's good. Parry? I'm just going to parry out a couple parry. of times. Um, parry. <laughs> how many? Oh, should I parry I've got a third eight, time? I've got eight wounds. Should I parry a third? I'm not going to parry a third time. You have declared it. I have declared it. Now, you know what? He lives? He just knows. So he's definitely dead. Yeah, so 15 damage. Uh, so I kill your leader. Uh, and then I'm going to fight into your other guy. Oh, I did have combat support. It did matter because I got one and two. got one and two. So but he dies. Yeah. Kablam. He did nothing. And then he's going to go into your other dude. I'm still. I'm not minus one anymore, am I? No, no, you're back to your normal. That's why I hit him first. Yeah, and and uh, this is an even worse weapon skill. This is fine. Oh, we're not going to tell you it's a bad it's a good roll. So two, as rending, so I get three crits and a hit. Oh, so this guy <laughs> is going to be, because of Grizzly Trophy, two dice hit on fives. Two dice hit on fives. It did better, Ooh. but I'm going to parry and then kill you. Oh. Yeah. So he dies as well. Right. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah. That's a shame. I'm going to just... It's a shame for me. Yeah. It's a lot of my team gone. It's a lot, it's a lot of the team gone. I mean, to be fair, it's a lot of my team gone as well. What an absolute weapon. I kill both operatives and drop Rob and Ransack for a victory point. So I make a mistake here. I forget about the two inch engagement range for the Butcher for normal moving, so the Hexorcist can't move and fire at the Butcher because he's in conceal. Hit with a shotgun, should be decent. Four on threes. Oof, Helix okay. came to play. Yeah. Crit and two hits. No AP though, right? No AP. So I need them all to live. It's three, three. Oh no, I need just two. So he gets the crit. Yo, oh, that was our, you know, I'm just gonna roll the normally. Oh no. So he's got one wound remaining. We realize this later on and we put the wounds back and he still would have moved there so that next turn he can shoot. The pistolier moves just out of three inches of the anointed and fires. Go for it. The pistolier is gonna move through this door. Yeah. Well within six inches of your anointed. Easily. Meaning he can do his pistol bar off. Yeah. You do realize we've got the fight of feeling pain, I just wanna let you know. Yeah, well, I have a pistol that does two three, so you can shoot it. <laughs> <laughs> it took me a minute to be like, that's not good. <laughs> I was like, whoa, hang on, that's that's bad. So I'm gonna shoot. 
I'm gonna I'm gonna shoot with that first and we'll get out of the way. Okay, okay. Yeah, so I'm gonna shoot with his suppressed arsehole pistol. So which shooting suppressed arsehole pistol. Okay, go. hit on threes, hit two, on three, three damage. That's good. That though. is good. That's good. That's good. Okay. That is good. Definitely damage is going through. No okay. AP, I'm guessing. Uh, no AP. Uh, so I get rid of the three. So that's a, it's a lofty three damage. Three damage going through, of which, of which I feel none. Okay, I feel it all. So three wounds down. This is, On two. And that's the clincher, because now we're going to go... wounds remaining. Oof. Now we're going to go hot with a plasma pistol. Cool. And I have no command points left. This could seal it. Oh my god, yes. Do my roll. If he dies... I love it. I don't care. If he dies, if your guy dies... Yeah. If he, if he dies, the anointed dies. It was worth it. It was worth it. I if, feel he, like, if he dies, but if he doesn't... I feel like a member of the Inquisition would do that. What, blast them? Well, no, but if you just get all ones, you're dead. You can't need it. It's not blast. No. Yeah. True. So get ones. No command points left. Every three. Oh, just one! Just oh. one. So three and the rest hit. You got down the on you. So we're on the AP2, and that's a miss. But yeah, three wounds. Okay. Oh, he fails that as well! This could, this could be... 16. Oh... The classic. Okay, let's do uh, eight at a time. Because when I did my firework field panel, sixteen it went really well. Yeah, that's gonna go better though. <gasps> None. <laughs> oh no! So he's taken eight. He's got one wound remaining, which means this roll oh. has to be all fives and sixes. It was. It was not even close. Three, four. Oh, he's dead. Kabam. Kasplam. You know what? Absolutely obliterated. Well done, Pistolier. Well done, Pistolier. It's a sledgehammer of a blow. The Pistolier takes out the full health anointed, and then the final move of turn three, the gun servitor's just gonna race forward towards the Pistolier. And that's it, that's the end of another bloody turn. Let's have a look at what's happened in turning point three. It's another bloody turn. The Emperor's children getting the worst of it in the death toll. Three legionaries for four agents is not an equivalent exchange at all, but I'm way up on primary points at the moment. Let's see if that can last me through to the end of the game now with just one operative left. So we obviously score the objectives as and when we loot them, but here's a quick reminder, the Emperor's children, I managed to loot two objectives, these two getting two victory points, and Chris didn't get any, no victory points, so these four went unlooted this round. In terms of tack ops between these two kills, Chris gets one for eliminate guards. With the death of my anointed, I'm not going to get the second victory point for Robin Ransack, but this kill did get me two victory points for rout and eliminate guards. On to turn four. We're on a turn four now, and whatever happens, it's gonna be a quick game. Let's get straight into the initiative roll off. You, you, you know, no one's willing you to do this more than me now, actually, because it's be the hell of the comeback. <laughs> <laughs> it's a strong Just start. not a one. Just not a one. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> do you want to well, take one. the initiative? Do, I mean, what would happen if I didn't? I would try and kill you. Well, I'll take it then. Yeah. <laughs> You probably should have said something nice. I would I would concede, Chris, if you gave me this first <laughs> <laughs> It's your only victory option. Am I lying? Am I bluffing? Take it. So no strategic ploys are being played and eliminate guards. Chris is selecting the butcher, the only operative left. So we know we made a mistake last turn. The extended engagement range only applies to movements, and now that the operative's in the range, shooting is fine, you just can't move into it and then shoot. So we're rolling back the wounds on the butcher, and we're shooting again with a shotgun point blank range. Hit on threes. Hit on threes. It's a damn good roll. They all hit. So he's dead, basically. So even if I roll the right amount. Oh, I even failed one. He, he would have even died a bit more. if he'd been four wounds. So let's say he was four wounds and you killed him anyway. Yeah. Kabam. I do have a CP, so we remember afterwards I roll but get a two, so the Butcher is well and truly dead. The Hexorcist then loots the objective for one victory point, and of course, because he was the Eliminate Guards target, the Butcher is dead, so that's an additional one victory point for Eliminate Guards. Nice going. I am become tabled. Chris then looks me dead in the eyes and says, uh, Oh, it's your move next. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you've got no models. Overwatch. <laughs> right. Okay. I've only got services left, which are rubbish. Yeah. So, I need to be careful with where I put the, the pistol here. Yeah, so I, he's only going to get one APL if he doesn't right. activate. That's why I forgot. 
So I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna go with. Save it all first. This guy first. Yeah. He's gonna move the six inches to this point. Got you. And bop. So. Bop. Okay. Bop. So up to two victory points for the turn. Another point. Now this guy is gonna have to try and bop the point and get near him. Yes. Can so he do it? <laughs> <laughs> two APL, I'm guessing. He's only got two APL, yeah. Okay, so he's got full movement, so I think he can probably full get movement. There. Puts me to about there. Yeah, he gets there. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Okay, so he's gonna bop so that gonna one. Bop. Taking up to three victory points for the turn. He goes there. Yeah. Okay. He gets to activate with two ATL, but he's injured, so you're gonna spend the command point. I will spend a command point on um, the Emperor's Will. Yeah, no longer being injured. Ignoring all modifiers. So four inches movement. Getting over. It's just gonna get me on there. For a bot. Taking it down to two. Oops. So that's a full complement of four. And here we are, we're at the end of the game, the end of turning point four. Let's have a quick recap, although it's gonna be a pretty short recap. Here's all the movement from the Inquisitorial agents, and obviously it's loot, so they're scored at the time. Obviously I lost my butcher, getting him one victory point. Let's have a look at the objectives and who scored what in the final turn. Spoiler, I didn't get any points in the last turn. So leading the way in scoring for turning point four are the Inquisitorial Agents. They looted all of these objectives, getting four victory points, quite a swing at the end of the game, but it's not enough to take the victory away from Mama Slanesh's boys. It's a Chaos Legionaries victory, and I'll see all of you deviant f***s down at the Sexy Crab Lady Hotel for celebratory drinks. If you've made it to the end of the video, thank you so much for watching. This all helps the channel's growth. A massive thank you to my patrons who keep the lights on. And I will see you in the next game. If there's a lineup you'd like to see happen, mention it in the comments and we'll see about making that come true for you. See you in the next video.